Take no responsibility for any accidents. Now, if you don't read that when you first go on the bridge, so if you see anybody running fast in one direction, follow them. So don't forget to read that sign when you walk on the bridge. Barbaric conditions and suffering that was unimaginable was inflicted upon the workers who built this railway. The steel bridge is one of the most historic landmark and memorials in Thailand. The history of the bridge is well known as it is part of the railway line in World War II and had seen its share of conflict and bloodshed. And after World War II, the damaged bridge was removed by the Thai government in 1946. There's the two platforms you're supposed to go on if the train comes. There's a couple of them throughout the bridge. I'm just curious what happens if they've got a big crowd. What, the train runs them all over? Never mind. The Burma Railway. The Burma Railway, also known as the Death Railway, the Burma Siam Railway, the Thailand Burma Railway was a 415 kilometre, 258 mile railway between Bon Pong, Thailand, and Samasaya, Burma built by the Empire of Japan in 1943 to support its forces in the Burmese campaign of World War II. This railway completed the rail link between Bangkok, Thailand and Rangoon or Burma if you like, now Yangon. Okay, so you should take a photo with me all the time now. I told you I was handsome. Together we have. Go over there. Come on. I think she wants to be in the picture. <laughs> Between 180 and 250,000 Southeast Asian civilian labourers and about 61,000 Allied prisoners of war were subjected to forced labour during its construction. About 90,000 civilian labourers and more than 12,000 Allied prisoners died during the construction. See the aeroplane in the hangar? Where? See the aeroplane? Oh, yeah. It's in there. It's got the trains and all that sort of stuff. He was a famous trumpet man from out Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of company B. The boy of company B. They made him blow a bugle for his Uncle Sam. They really brought him down because he could not jam. The captain seemed to understand. In early 1942, Japanese forces invaded Burma and seized control of the colonies from the United Kingdom. To supply their forces in Burma, the Japanese depended upon the sea, bringing supplies and troops to Burma around the Malay Peninsula and through the Straits of Malacca and the Andaman Sea. This route was vulnerable to attack by Allied submarines especially after the Japanese defeat at the Battle of Midway in 1942. To avoid hazardous 2,000 mile, 3,200 kilometres sea journey around the Malay Peninsula, a railway from Bangkok to Rangoon seemed a feasible alternative. The Japanese began this project in June 1942. 
If you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and hit the bell button if you want to be notified of any new ones. And there's plenty of more of these movies where this one comes from. Okay, back to the video. We went the other side of the bridge now, we went downstairs. Getting a beer for 50 baht, not too bad. You back up. Couple cup, thanks. Yeah, that's the view from the other side of the river. <clears throat> Just have a quick look at this market and we'll head back across. Oh, I just stepped on a frog. <laughs> Minglaba. Minglaba. Sawadee I don't know they were Burmese. How much, Leo? Leo beer? That's okay, 50 baht for a Leo. It's not too bad. This is your shop, yeah? Shop. What's your name? Okay. Nipaka. Nipaka, okay. That's a long one. I need Jade. Yok, come on. Oh, Jade, is it? That's Jade. Jade, Jade. Nice. I need Onik Kantanaburi from here. Kantanaburi Onik. What is it? Onik. Onik from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got all sorts of jewelry here if you're into that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girls. They'd be cultured pearls. Yeah, for long good. For long good. For number one. Number one. Number one. Ming Yeah, all these bloody chairs. <laughs> Yeah, there's two sets of stairs when you come down here. Okay, take the second ones, they're not as steep. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 The bridge on the River Kwai, the project aimed to connect Phnom Penh in Thailand with Burma, linking up with existing railways on both sides. The movement of POWs northwest from Changi present in Singapore and other prison camps in Southeast Asia began in 1942 after preliminary work of airfield infrastructure construction of the railway began in burma on the 15th of september 1942 and in thailand in november the project's completion date was december 1943 Some 250,000 workers were involved in building this bridge and the adjoining railways and the extreme conditions they built all this under. They had very little transport to get equipment to and from the workers. They had almost no medication. They couldn't get food, let alone materials. They had no tools to work with. Just basic tools, picks, shovels, hammers. And to top that off, they worked in extremely difficult conditions. In the jungle with all that heat and humidity. The bridge and the adjoining railways makes this one hell of an extraordinary accomplishment. I don't know, I think this would have been a very, very bad place to be in 1942. The conditions here must have been horrific and um, unbearable. Working in the tropical hot sun, being beaten all the time, no food, no future, constant under the threat of death. When I was a child, I remember one of my dad's friends come to stay with us from, uh, he actually worked here on the River Kwai, I don't know where. And the uh, stories he told and the conditions, um, it was incredible. So it's uh, pretty difficult for me to uh, be here. Yeah, the, um, he wasn't in a very good way and, um, you know, be screaming out in the middle of the night and so forth. Well, I said him probably, 20 years after all this, you know, when I was a kid. I 
remember all these scars from being beaten and um, probably the worst thing was the mental scars. Anyway, I'll uh, leave it at that. I hope this um, information I've given you is helpful. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I uh, might, um, uh, how could I say, show you how the bridge is uh, represented and what it represents uh, in history. Not a good one. top mission to Katanapuri is to visit World War II Museum otherwise it is said that otherwise it's said that one has not really arrived in um, Katanapuri I really don't know what that's all about oh, what's this one during World War II the Japanese used this train for the transportation of ammunitions to expand the fight into India and Burma yeah, I don't know what they've got them here for. It's a cry man war. Look at the size of the barrel on. Yeah. Oh shit, cop these ones. Have a look at the barrel on these ones. They don't shoot you, they blow you in half. That's virtually a cannon. I think it's up here, I'm not sure. One shit. Uh, it's, it's some sort of Thai thing. Um, I think the whole building is dedicated to Thai, some sort of battle with Burma, I guess. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you got an interesting mix. And that would go on the end of a spear. Yeah. Basically a dagger. Knife, 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 knife. Really not sure. <laughs> Bayonets. Not sure what the hell that is. <coughs> Interesting. Twenty-four-year-old, terrible. Twenty-four years old, and to have your uh, life cut short in this place. They all deserved better. Thirty-four years old. Forty-three years old. Thirty-five. I'm just reading the first plugs down the line. I, I can't do it all. That's terrible. These are all Australians on this side. Australia lost so many servicemen around in this area. Apparently the Australian government looks after this uh, cemetery. 
It's done very well, actually, but uh, it is what it is. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. Some sunny day, I know we'll meet again. Some sunny day. Out of me, boy, is at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Right on track 29. Boy, you can give me a shine. I can afford to board the Chattanooga Choo Choo.